Awkward laughing. Awkward it's laughing. Best. <laughs> <laughs> this awkwardly laughing yet wonderful human being is my friend Helena Fossa, who I had the pleasure of sketching a few months back. On Norwegian TikTok, she's known for her mental health advocacy and sharing her experience with bipolar disorder, PTSD, and tics. <whistles> You could say she's Norway's own tick tick tocker. Tick tick tocker. Ab tick tock ab. Awkward laughing. Ticks are involuntary sounds, words, or movements often associated with Tourette syndrome. I've never had ticks myself, but I do recognize the intrusive thoughts my bipolar sometimes involuntarily slips out, both in terms of verbal self abuse and physical violence towards myself. We had a great chat about the ticks, which unfortunately is mostly unusable since I didn't wire up the mix right. But her best advice to people meeting others who have ticks was simply to not make a big deal about it. But as I handed her my phone so she could film me drawing, her audio cleared up and she finally said... Yeah, it's almost a bit frustrating when uh, talking about ticks because uh, I'm glad that I can kind of help others with ticks, but mm. I would prefer to talk about... Mario Kart. Yes. You want to talk about <laughs> no, Mario Kart? No, not Mario Kart. Uh, when it comes to ticks, I can't play Mario Kart anymore. Oh no. Because, <laughs> because it's so exciting. So we ended up talking about a lot of less adrenaline fueled video games and I realized uh, that she hadn't played either Disco Elysium or Rogue Legacy, both of which touch upon intrusive thoughts and coprolalia in very, very different ways. But it was so fun to share our love of games. Uh, I studied games technology for a year Ooh. and like indie games, uh, just I love, love them. Have you played Gone Home? Oh, it's so beautiful. I cried at the end. It seems like a very you game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have I allowed to recommend games to me? Please recommend me some more games. And finally, this is what the whole video is about. Why Helena should play Big City Little Kitty. Big City Little Kitty is an open world exploration game where you play as a cat who falls out of a window and has to get back home. As a game it has the same type of feeling as the brilliant A Short Hike and Little Gator game, both which I highly recommend. But unlike both of these, Big City Little Kitty is janky. At the start of the game the controls feel downright unmanageable. but towards the end they're actually really comfortable if clunky and the collision detection in the game is hilariously bad but seldom a problem. What makes it all work is the charm from the faceless humans walking around lost in their phones to the cute hats to the arbitrary animal characters you meet. The dialogue is written by Philippa War from the Crate and the Crowbar podcast which I love. She also worked on a great puzzle game called A Monster's Expedition Through Puzzling Exhibitions, an equally charming game with much tighter gameplay that somehow didn't grab me as much as this. Probably Probably because I wasn't smart enough for the puzzles. Anyhow, the dialogue of Big City Little Kitty is jam-packed with puns and clever setups. It's a bit wordy, but even a notorious dialogue skipper like me ended up reading most everything because it's fun. The whole game comes together perfectly when you wander through the streets with ducklings following you around looking for their last lost sibling. To sum up, Big City Little Kitty isn't a great game. It's janky and wonky and simple, but it's got personality. And to quote the poet, Personality goes the wrong way. I absolutely loved the game and finished it in a couple of days. It's mercifully short, but that suits it perfectly. And it's as different from Gone Home as you can be, but I think Helena will love the game as well. Do inform me if I'm wrong. Anyhow, back to the portrait. I think the portrait came out well, even though it was done in charcoal, but I'd love to get the opportunity to sit down with ink and brush someday and talk more mental health and gaming. So thank you, Helena. Till next time. I can see that it's me.
It's a really nice smile. It's a really nice smile. Thank you. <laughs> Awkward laughing. Awkward it's laugh. Best. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect hey, so if you've made it this far in the video, please consider supporting on Patreon or in any of the links that you will find somewhere, because I really want to do more of this. I really want to do more going around, meeting interesting people, drawing them and doing more detailed portraits like this. A portrait in the sense of interview and drawing. Uh, okay. You get it. Please support. Thank you.